Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be looking at measurement, perimeter and area. So the things that we're going to look at in terms of measurement today is measuring distances, okay? So our units, when we look at distance, we're looking at millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. Now, you may be asked at times to convert between these particular units. Millimetres, when we're talking millimetres, we're talking tiny, tiny. Centimetres, a bit bigger. Metres, maybe looking at the size of a desk. Kilometres, looking at the size um, or the distance between, say, walking from your milk bar or your home to school. And you might be asked to convert between those different units. So say I've been told that something is 150 centimetres and I want to figure out how much 150 centimetres is in metres. I can use this little chart here. This chart is just showing us that in one centimetre, there are 10 millimetres. In one metre, there are 100 centimetres. And in one kilometre, there are 1,000 metres. So to convert between metres to centimetres to metres to kilometres, we're usually dividing. And to convert between kilometres to metres to centimetres to millimetres, we are multiplying. So this one here, 150 centimetres, okay? If we want to convert it to metres, to go from centimetres to metres, we're following the arrow, centimetres to metres is dividing by 100. So what we're going to do is do 150 divided by 100, which is 1.5. So that means... 150 centimetres is 1.5 metres. All right, next one, three kilometres to metres. So kilometres, okay, is over here, to metres. So we're going this way, which means we are multiplying by 1,000. So three times 1,000 is 3,000 metres. This one here, we've got 50 metres and we want to convert it to millimetres. So metres is here, but millimetres is all the way here. So what we have to do is times it by 100, and then times it by 10. So 50 times 100 and then times it by 10 is going to be 50,000. This is important because when we are calculating perimeter or area of different shapes, we need to make sure that for our shape, all of the units around the shape are the same. So if the units are different, you might have to convert them to be the same unit. All right, so the first thing that we're going to look at here is perimeter. Now perimeter, the word perimeter, means the total distance around a um, two-dimensional shape that we are looking at. So here we have a rectangle, okay, and with a rectangle we know that this side we've been told is nine centimeters, which means this side also has to be nine centimeters. We're told that this side is four, so this side also has to be four, and because perimeter is the total distance around a shape, okay, the total distance around the shape would mean adding up all of my numbers. So 9 plus 4 plus 4 plus 9 is going to be 26. And my unit here is centimetres. Okay. This one here, we're going to do, we know that this is 12. We know that this is 4, 3 and 2. But we don't know the length of this one or the length of this one. So to figure out the length of this side here is we can see that it's going to be the equivalent or the same of this plus this. If we were to join those two lines together, it will give us our total. So 4 and 2, we can figure out that this is going to be 6. And then we know that this whole thing here is 12, which is going to be this plus this. So if this is a 3, the missing part, 12 take away 3 is 11, 10, 9, which means this is going to be 9 because 9 plus 3 is 12. And now we have all of our sides, which means when we add them all up, so 2 plus 12 plus 6 plus 3 plus 4 plus 9 is going to be 36 centimetres. Okay. Um, given that all of these units are centimetres, okay, or whatever the unit is that they tell you. This one over here, okay, this trapezium, upside down trapezium, um, we've been given all four sides, so again, we just got to add them up, okay? So, oh, this is going to be the other way around. This one here is meant to be 18, sorry. And this one here, when we add them all up, um, is going to be 57 centimetres, sorry. This is still 36. My bad. 
So adding them up using your calculator. All right, this one here, we know that this is five. Okay, this is the same as this, which means this is also five. This little one here is two because it's got one single line. This also has a single line and this also has a single line, which means this is two and this is two and this is two. So if I add them all up, I'm going to get here 18 centimeters. So perimeter is finding, making sure we've got the distance around all of our lengths and adding them all up. The word circumference is another word for perimeter, but only when we are talking about a circle. Okay, so the word circumference means distance around a circle. And for this one here, we've got a special formula. Okay, so when I've got a circle, okay, this purple line that goes around, that's called my circumference, okay, the distance around my circle. The halfway point from my middle of my circle to the edge, we call that the radius okay so in my formula all right what I can do over here say I have a circle and I've been told my radius is 10 is to figure out my circumference I do 2 times pi and the value of pi is 3.14 times my radius my radius is 10 so what I'm going to do is put that into the calculator and I'd get 62.8 okay and let's say that's centimetres, that 10 is 10 centimetres. Which means this distance around my circle is 62.8 centimetres, given that my radius is 10. You may also be given what we call the diameter. Okay, so diameter, which is the distance that cuts through the halfway point of my circle. Okay, so another way that you could figure out circumference is by going pi times my diameter. So if my radius is 10, that means my diameter is the whole thing. So my diameter will be 20, which will give me the same answer. Okay, so depending on whether you're given the diameter or the radius, you would use this rule or this rule, but you will always know that the radius is halfway of the diameter. Okay, so um, that one there. All right, now looking at area. So where perimeter is the distance around the shape, okay, area is the amount of space that's inside my shape, okay, especially when we're looking at these 2D shapes here. And we have some formulas that we use to figure those out. So if I have a square, the formula to find the area of my square is I do my length and I times it by my length or I do L squared, okay. So say this was 2. To figure out my area, I do 2 times 2, which is 4. And if it was in centimetres, I'd write centimetres. But because it's area, what I do is I write a squared on the top. Okay, so 4 centimetres squared. This one here, my rectangle. Okay, find the area of a rectangle. I have, let's say this is 5 centimetres and let's say this is 2 centimetres. To find my area, I'm going to do length times width is 2 times 5, that equals 10. So my answer is going to be 10 centimetres squared. All right, a triangle. Okay, so to find the area of a triangle, you do base. Okay, that's what the B stands for. Times by height. And then you divide by answer by 2. So say this was 3 and say this was 6. Okay, so my base is 3 centimetres. My height is 6 centimetres. To find the area, I'm going to do base times height, so 3 times 6, and then I'm going to divide that by 2. So 3 times 6 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9, so that's going to be 9 centimetres squared. All right, here I have a trapezium. So what I'm going to do is say this is 2 centimetres, say this is 4 centimetres, and say this is 3 centimetres, okay? I've been given my two side lengths, and I've been given my height. We have another special formula. So what we do is we do area equals half multiplied by A plus B. So A plus B are my two side lengths. So I'm going to add them together. So th uh, 2 plus 4, which is 6. Okay, so 2 plus 4, which is 6. And then I'm going to times it by my height, which is 3. So 6, half times 6 is 3. And then 3 times 3 is 9. So that's 9 centimetres squared. So a lot of this area is just filling in your 
measurements that you've been given into the formula. The last one is area of a circle, okay, which is the same um, as I'm using my radius, but my formula is a bit different. So circumference is 2 times pi times r, whereas my um, area is pi times r squared. So say I have a circle and this is instead of um, being told, I've been told that my radius is 10. So here my area is actually going to be pi times 10 squared, okay, which is 100 times pi, okay, because 10 times 10 is 100. And if pi is 3.14, that means it's 100 times about 3.14 which is going to be about 314 centimetres squared. So the difference in circumference and area, okay, circumference is 2 times pi times r. So for the radius of 10, my circumference, so my distance around my circle is going to be 62.8 centimetres. But for that same radius, the area that fills inside is going to be 314 centimetres squared. That just about covers looking at the basics of measurement, perimeter and area. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and I hope that helped. Goodbye.